Captain's report, February 4th, 2531. Five years. Five long years. That's how long it took us to get Harvest back. Go, go, go! First it was going well, then setback after setback. Loss after loss. Made what was going to be a quick and decisive win. Into five years of hell. Of course, that's all Harvest is today. It's hell down there. But now it's ours again. Serena, status. Standard orbit achieved. All systems normal. Prep for pod launches, bring weapon systems online. Expecting trouble, Captain? Harvest may be ours again, but I don't think the Covenant appreciate that yet. Sergeant Forge, report. Definitely plenty of bad guys down here, Captain. And they found something in the ice. Damn it. That complicates our mission. Anders, what have you got? Captain. Scans of the northern polar regions show some interesting Covenant activity on the surface. There's some kind of structure down there. What do you think they're looking for? That's what we're here to find out. We're to bring Alpha Base up to operational status and take control of that site. I'll get my equipment ready, Captain. Lady, there's no way you're coming down here on the first bird. Sergeant Forge, pull back to Alpha Base. I'm sending you some backup. Roger that. Forge out. So, nothing too difficult then? It might be the key to this whole war, Serena. It's worth the risk. Let's just take one last look-see. The Hierarchs grow impatient. We can delay no longer. What if the infection defiles the relic? I care not for your little life. Open the relic. Sesame. What made you choose my observation deck as your lab, Professor? I like the view. It adds... perspective to my work. <laughs> Forge doesn't think it's safe for you to go down there yet. He's quite insistent. I can be quite insistent too, Captain. I can take care of myself. Any idea what it is we've got down there? It's all theories right now, and I'll know a lot more once I get down there. 
I'm approving the mission, but the slightest sign of danger and I'm pulling you. Sergeant, is this what the aliens were after? Seems so, ma'am. They sure paid a price trying to defend it. All quiet now. Hey, what are you doing? Nothing ventured, nothing gained. Now that's not what I expected. Heresy! Remove this filth! Take cover! These guys just don't know when to quit. So, all it did was point here. In the 30 seconds I had to examine the artifact? Yes, all it did was point at a second star system. Arcadia colony, to be precise. Population a little under 3 million, largely unexplored, but apparently quite the vacation resort. There's something there, Captain, and I think it's important that we get to it before the Covenant do. Our orders are to investigate Harvest. We still don't know a lot about what's going on down there. I understand that, Captain, but everything I see here tells me that we need to get to Arcadia to figure this out. Very well, Professor. I'll clear it with Admiral Cole. Serena, set course for Arcadia. Aye, sir. Crazy mystery trip to Arcadia plotted in, spinning up FTL drive. Serena, get out of my lab. Serena, situation update, please. Two Covenant vessels came out of slip space near Arcadia. The Belfast, Pillar of Autumn, Texas, and Armstrong engaged immediately and caught one with its shields down. We lost the Texas and Belfast. The Armstrong is venting atmosphere and Autumn is badly damaged. The second vessel is engaged in surface activity. What kind of surface activity? Unknown. Wait, I'm getting a signal. Audio only. Getting visuals now, Captain. Serena, launch pods. Bring the ship to alert. So, it's an energy shield that they can deploy on the planet? Yes, Captain. We can't see through it, but the Covenant are up to something. Agreed. We need to find out what that is. Can we use the ship's cannons and take it out directly? We may destroy whatever's under there. Covenant shield technology is susceptible to superheated plasma. Aren't we field testing some plasma-based rhinos? Pillar of Autumn inventory shows they have some prototypes. It may take some time to get the right power settings. I'll need to be on the ground to do that. Professor, Sergeant Forge, let's get that shield down. Ah, babysitting again?
Arbiter, you are unusually quiet. What troubles occupy your thoughts? Hierarch, I do not wish to be impudent, but you have charged me with the destruction of humanity. A most noble cause for one with such a troubled past. And I am thankful for my task. But sire, you have me skulk in ancient ruins and search empty temples. How does this help me accomplish my goal? The war with the humans will require a great deal many more machines than we can currently muster. I will take what we have. And leave us defenseless? No. The ancients will provide for us. This world shall be the birthplace for an invasion fleet beyond imagining. Enough to crush the humans quickly and with ease. But this world lies dormant. It is just a shell. Blasphemy! The key will be found with patience. But perhaps there is a quicker way. The human female from the Ice Relic. She has some knowledge in this regard. The new planet the Relic has led us to has also led her. Capture that human and bring her here. It will be done. Hey, how about one for the scrapbook, Professor? If you don't mind, Sergeant, I'm trying to document this area for study. You will come with me. Why don't we put the lady down and talk about this man to freak? As you wish. Stop! Anders, get out of here! I'll come quietly if you let him live. Sir. I'm okay. Spirit of Fire, this is Forge. I lost Anders. What happened? Some massive elite came out of nowhere. Captain, I'm tracking her transponder. It's heading away from the planet. Damn it. Sergeant, get up here on the double. Already en route, sir. We're all accounted for. Why haven't we left yet? Why aren't you in the med bay, Sergeant? The Professor's signal has gone to light speed, headed for the border. That puts it outside weapon range. What? We have to go after her. Sir, I can only track that transponder a few more seconds. Captain! Sir, Anders represents a significant security breach. Serena, get us underway immediately. Follow that signal. Aye, aye, sir. So, we left a note saying we're leaving, right? Where the hell are we, Serena? We're in orbit around a planet in the middle of... Actually, I'm still working on that, sir. Anders? The Covenant vessel we pursued appears to have taken cover on the planet's surface. I have rough coordinates. Any sign of other Covenant activity? Not that I can detect. Although this world is giving off some pretty crazy readings. <sighs> Get Forge down there. I believe he's already aboard a Pelican, awaiting your word. This is her. Yes, Hierarch. This is the one I observed. Such a frail thing. You would hardly think them a threat. I demand to know why I'm being held. <laughs> demand? Arbiter, a human ship has arrived and is closing in on the entrance port. <laughs> Get the Hierarch to High Charity, intercept that human ship, and destroy it at once.
Nothing but ocean. Are you sure this is it, Serena? Fairly sure. Initiating a deep scan. Docking. Cleansing. Uh, that's not right. Captain, you're not going to like this. <laughs> Serena, Captain, we've got company. All hands engage. Serena, I've got troops out there still. Get them back on board now. Captain, I can only hold this position a few minutes at the most. Now, Serena! Recalling the surface squad so we can all die together. Aye, sir. This is all part of the plan. Right, guys? We're inside the planet. That worked out pretty well. Or maybe not. Lady, I haven't got all day. You want to be rescued or not? Is this really going to work, Professor? I believe this is our best hope. The overloaded FTL reactor will cause a chain reaction in the sun. Enough to destroy all the ships here before the Covenant can get a chance to make anything from them. Well, put simply, Captain, our reactor will cause the sun to go supernova, leaving nothing here but dust. That's the weak part of this plan, if you ask me. We've no way home without that reactor. One problem at a time, Serena. If the Covenant get their hands on these ships, it will mean the end of the war. We'll take our chances here, to give humanity some hope. I know it's been a tough call, Captain. But it's the right one. 
Spirit of Fire, this is Forge. She's buttoned up and ready to go. Deliver that package safely, Sergeant. Keep the coffee hot. I'll be back before you know it. I'll be monitoring you from here, Sergeant. Well, it'll be pretty obvious if he succeeds. Gentlemen, we're burning sunshine here! He's mine. Say that. As you wish. My face will be the last thing your pathetic eyes ever see. And for the record, I would have kicked your ass the first time if the lady hadn't stopped me. Sir, it's already overheating. I'll have to separate the core and align them manually when they need to blow. Son, I have a feeling before this is over, we'll need every last Spartan in the fight. I can do this. Report back to the ship. Good luck, sir. It's been an honor. Stay our welcome. Best speed away. Captain, the gravity field from the sun is expanding. We're not going anywhere. Let's see if we can't turn that to our advantage. Serena, plot a course that takes us into the sun. We're going to slingshot around it. Threading a needle while accelerating around an exploding star inside a planet that's falling apart? Well, sure. Why not? Serena, can you do it? It's done. You might want to hold on to something. Closing your eyes might help too. Captain, I would much rather stay awake to monitor this area. Professor, 
There's been no sign of the Covenant for almost two weeks. There's nothing to do. The Captain... But nothing, Professor. You got us all out of there alive. Get some rest. Not all of us, Captain. Not all of us. 